her in the face. Huh. Ah, eh. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to English with Max. Today I have a tip for you that will not only help you sound more like a native speaker, but will also help you in those moments when you can't find the precise word to describe something in English. It's something that native speakers use all the time, but for some reason I've never seen it in an English textbook. Are you ready for it? It's using the suffix ish. Now, some of you might be thinking, what's a suffix? A suffix is simply a letter or a group of letters added to the end of an existing word. For example, you can add full to the word help to make helpful. Or you can add the suffix less to the end of taste to form tasteless, which means something has no taste. It's probably not a good word to use if your boyfriend or girlfriend cooks you dinner. Piece of advice. Anyhow. Ish is a suffix that can be added to nouns or adjectives. If you add it to a noun, it can mean being like or having the characteristics of. For example, baby-ish means like a baby, baby-ish. Apish means like an ape, apish. You can also add it to numbers, and then it has the sense of close to or approximately. For example, you could say, I don't know how old my teacher is, but I would say 70-ish. That means that you think your teacher is about 70 years old. No, Frank, I'm not 70-ish. The number starts with a T. As I said before, you can also add it to adjectives. If you add ish to an adjective, it has the sense of somewhat or kind of or rather. For example, smallish means somewhat small. Longish means somewhat long. Blackish means somewhat black. It's very common to add ish to adjectives that have one syllable. And normally those are the ones that you find in the dictionary because nowadays they are just accepted as standard words. However, in casual spoken English, native speakers often add ish to any adjective they want. For example, there's a funny-ish smell coming from my refrigerator. That means there is a somewhat funny or strange smell coming from my fridge. Knowing how to use ish is very useful when you can't think of a precise word. When we speak a foreign language, this happens quite frequently because we don't have the same range of vocabulary as we do in our native language. Let's take the example of colors. Normally in our native language, we know more than just the basic red, yellow, green, blue, white, etc. Look at some women when they shop for wedding dresses. Suddenly, dresses are no longer just white. No, no. They are ivory, cream, off-white, eggshell. I think you get the point. Anyhow, if you don't know all those different words for white, but you know something isn't pure white, then you can say whitish. I think the equivalent in French is blanchâtre, and in Spanish it's blanquecino. You can also sometimes use ish to answer certain questions. Then it just means 
kind of or somewhat. Um, but be careful, this is very colloquial when used in this way. Here are some examples. Did your exam go well? You could answer, hmm, ish. That means that it went okay. Another example, is your new flatmate nice? You could say, hmm, ish. And we all know what that means. That is all for today, folks. If you would like to practice using this, you can write me a sentence in the comments below using a word with ish. Alternatively, you can write a question that can be answered with ish by itself. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Uh, as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on social media. Yes, I'm cool. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.